You now know a little about activities and how they work, but have you wondered how your Android app knows which activity has to be shown first? And for, for that matter, what the available activities for your app are? This is all done with the manifest file, and in the project navigator, you'll find a manifest folder. Every Android application has to have an androidmanifest.xml file with precisely that name in its root directory. The manifest file provides essential information about your app to the Android system, which the system must have before it can run any of the app's code. Now, the manifest file does the following. It names the Java package for the application. As I mentioned in a previous video, the package name serves as a unique identifier for the application. The manifest describes the components of the application, including the activities. It also names the classes that implements these components and publishes their capabilities. The manifest declares the permissions that the application must have in order to work with the core Android system and other application. The manifest also declares the permissions that others are required to have in order to interact with the application's components. It declares the minimum level of the Android API that the application is, requires, and the manifest lists the library that the application must be linked against. Basically, the manifest declares the configuration for an Android application. And for more complex applications, you may find yourself visiting the manifest quite often to tweak the settings. Now, for Time Fighter, you won't be spending much time with the manifest at all, at all. However, where you will spend a fair amount of time is your main activity. And for the time being, that's going to be your only activity.